In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to log in for the first time into Renaissance Place, which of course is our new AR, and also how to set goals for your students. First thing you're going to do after you go to Start Programs Renaissance Place is click on the Teacher Administrator link. And you're going to type in your username and password. For most of you, your username is going to be your first initial plus your last name, or the first initial of your first name plus your full last name. So if your name is Bob Barker, you're going to put B Barker. Now, some of you might have a number or something else after your your name. That's that's because there might be somebody else with the same. Um, first initial of the first name plus last name. Uh, you'll just have to come see me um, if yours isn't working and I'll give you the correct username. The password is going to be the same as your username. So you're going to go ahead and type that in as well. So for mine it's B Barker again. I'm going to click login. Now that's only for the very first time you log in because now it's going to ask you to select a new password. Now the new password must be at least three characters long and include at least one number. So um, you might even want to use the same um, password you use to log into your email or um, other accounts that you may have. Click Save and it, this will take you to the main page in Renaissance Place. Now there are two sections, the only section you need to worry about um, well there are several sections, two that have links, the only one you need to worry about is down here, Accelerated Reader. Now today we're going to be talking about how to set goals and that is located in the class record books. So we're going to click on that link there and then we're going to click on the link reading practice goals. Now notice how it says to set goals for students in this class you must first select marking periods for this class. So notice this is grayed out we must first click on the select marking periods link. And the only available school marking period is the full school year so we're going to go ahead and click on select now if you want to if you want me to add additional marking periods I can do that we're going to click save okay now we're ready to edit <clears throat> student goals so we're going to click on the edit student goals link And very simply, all you need to do at this point is change uh, the percentage if you want to, the average percent correct. Um, it's initially set at an 85% goal. Uh, now it does allow the students to pass tests with a 60%, but this would just be a goal that you would want them to achieve. Um, points, you can set a goal for number of points you want them to accumulate over the year. Um, and then an average book level goal as well. So maybe you um, would like particular students to have an average book level of three, for example. And once you've set all the goals for your students, you simply click Save. And that's, that's all you need to do to set your goals. Now, um, you can always come back to this page to see how that your students are doing as far as um, how close they are to their goals. It will fill in this data as they start taking um, reading quizzes. And that is how you log in and set your goals. There will be more screencasts on Accelerated Reader, so keep an eye out for those and I will let you know when more of those are posted.